Wine is a multi-billion dollar industry in Oregon, and many now worry drought conditions in the southern part of the state could threaten some of the state's wine grapes. But a new study out of Oregon State University suggests wineries in southern Oregon can succeed by using about half the water many of them use. It's not rocket science. You know, if the federal government says some number that ends up being, you know, 20 hours of irrigation per week, you can run it for 10 hours per week and you'll be just fine. Vineyards will often follow guidelines developed in California to determine how much water they should use. The problem, Alec Levin discovered, those guidelines may lead wine growers to use much more water than they really need to. The federal estimates for how much water is required for grapes are almost twice as, twice as much as what is actually required. So water savings of about half. Well, the study is really good. Greg Jones is a wine climatologist at Linfield University and has been studying how climate impacts growing and producing wine for 30 years. Uh, we've been following uh, research out of California for years where the climate is clearly different. So how do the wineries cut their water usage in half? Levin says it's pretty simple. Just don't turn the pump on. Or at least they should turn it on about 50% less. They should also cultivate their vineyards in a way that the water that is being used is going only to the vines. And then think about conserving water during production, too. And being able to, you need to use water to make wine, uh, but to use it more efficiently within the winery system. I said good news all around, I think. And at a time when water is historically scarce, this kind of research will make a big difference. We're currently in probably the worst drought that we've had in Southern Oregon um, for at least the past 150 years or so. I think that any little bit helps. Keely Chalmers, KGW News.